Hey! Angela! Where are you coming from with this type of dressing? I went to see my friends. I went to hang out with my homies. What's popping everyone? It's your girl Famous Lexi coming back at you with a new video. Today's video, I'm just doing a sit down chit chat about my current life state. If you want to know how I do my makeup, like full instructions and that, let me know. I can make a video, but you know, my camera quality is not that nice. But that's okay. <laughs> that's okay. I hope you guys enjoy. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. On to the video. Oh, yay. That was weird. That, yeah, that was strange. Um, sorry. I decided to do some type of like chit chat esque type of thing. You know, um, I was like, why don't I do some makeup, talk to you guys about my life. I'm not saying you care, but you have nothing else to do in this panoramic. So why not? You know, why not? No, I said no. Before I start talking and all of that ish, I'm going to do my eyebrows off camera and then come back. So I just did my eyebrows off the camera like I said before. If you're wondering why I keep looking over here, my mirror is over here. I don't really do eyeshadow, but today I was like, hmm, let me try something new. So I'm gonna try putting on my makeup differently and try like an eyeshadow style. Yeah, I also got this Fenty Beauty foundation. I bought it. It's the Pro Filter Hydrating Long Wear Foundation. This is what it looks like. Hopefully it's focusing. So I got this in the shade 480 and basically when i went to sephora i actually just wanted a sample of one of their foundations but they're not doing samples because of corona so they have this like blank slate that you put up to your face with the foundation on it and see if it matches so yeah we're gonna see we're gonna see how this goes um but other than that i'm trying some new things with my makeup today while I was having a conversation so let's have fun and yeah so <laughs> High school's over in like, what are we in right now? We're in April, high school's over in like two months, guys. Okay, high school's over in two months. So let me talk about my last quadmester that I had. Um, basically, my last quadmester I had economics and religion. I hate that little girl. Cut off of religion. That was a really good class. Like, guys, that was a really, really good class. I liked religion. I got a good mark in it. So I'm just chilling. Like, that was such a good class. Shout out to my religion teacher. She was A1. Let's move on to economics. <laughs> I love my economics teacher. Miss, if you ever see this, you are amazing. I love you so much. She's just so funny, guys. Like, she's so funny. I definitely enjoyed the class. Um... Yeah, I definitely enjoyed economics. Economics and religion, that was a pretty good quadmaster, even though it was a bit stressful. Um, it was definitely a good quadmaster that I had. So yeah. Also, what do you call it? I just talked to my guidance counselor and she basically told me that I finished high school a quadmaster and a half ago. And I'm just kind of, I'm cheesed a little bit because I low-key, high-key took economics for fun like who takes economics for fun did i know i was taking economics for fun i didn't would i do it again no i wouldn't i wouldn't i would not if i knew that i was done high school a quadmaster and a half ago i would have dropped out i would have dropped out i would have dropped out already but i didn't know so i was just taking these courses and then now in this quadmaster i'm in yearbook and basically, I want to drop your book. Even my guidance counselor was like, Alexis, you could drop it and just be done with high school. But then I feel so bad because we don't have that many people in our yearbook class and we really need to finish this yearbook. And I feel like if I drop it, then I'm becoming a burden to everyone else because now I'm like ditching. And we've only been in yearbook, guys. It's not like we've been in yearbook for a month. We've only been in yearbook for a week. But we are already doing so many things and I feel like if I drop the class, then it's just so so inconvenient for my teacher and like everybody else in my class and i actually like like my teacher like if i didn't care 
about my teacher like i personally would drop the class also another reason why i don't want to drop a yearbook is because i just don't want to end high school like that guys imagine this you've been in high school four years okay you basically missed half of your grade 12 year senior year is now here you didn't have a senior year at all and then i'm just gonna end high school like that all the abuse all the crying all the all the fighting did i mention abuse and i'm just ending high school like that all the memories and that was it like that was literally it the no last hurrah no retreat no graduation no prom that's it so i'm like i can't just end high school that way so that's another reason why i'm subconsciously willing not willing to drop yearbook because i just don't want to end like high school like that like i don't want to do that so yeah that's basically why i think i should tape my eyes so I get a cleaner cut. What do you guys think? Tape my eyes? I'm gonna, I'm gonna tape them like this so I can get a cleaner cut. I'll be back, I'm gonna tape them. Oh, I just realized I have this dirt on my shirt. Bro, where is this from? Sorry. I'm trying to see how to do this. I don't really wear eyeshadow, guys, so I don't know what I'm doing, but we're gonna test it out. Okay, she pigmented. She pigmented, kind of. Not really. It's probably gonna turn out ashy. We'll see. But yeah, so I'm just basically taking. Oh yeah, this is not even pigmented like that. Guys, I don't even wear eyeshadow. Like, look how dull this looks. Bro, if I hate this eyeshadow, I'm taking it off. We'll see. But yeah, so that's basically what high school is like for me so far. Finished third quadrimester. I'm done high school. I'm still taking yearbook though. Other than that, we chilling, bro. We chilling. Oh, oh, oh. I'm running, everyone. I'm running for valedictorian. Listen, to all those SBA grade 12s out there, vote for me, Alexis J. Jamara, to be your valedictorian. Listen, I've been able to touch every single corner of the school, and I just feel like I will fight for you. Ooh. something like fun that i thought like i should try i guess um there's a lot of people running too so like if i don't get it i'm not gonna be hurt like i know some people if they don't get it they're gonna be like devastated but honestly it's just a cool way to end off and like whoever becomes valedictorian i feel like they should just be able to represent the people i don't think valedictorian should be those same smart kids quote unquote who think they're better than everybody else um should be valedictorian i just don't think that's fair i really feel like they should just choose somebody who has just been able to touch the sba community as a whole and not put people down like you know what i mean so that's how i personally feel oh and another reason why i ran for valid or i'm running for valedictorian is because i'm gonna be honest with you guys i wanted to run for president but I'm gonna be so honest guys i don't know i don't know if the people in the back are ready to hear this i wanted to run for president but i knew that if i ran there'd just be so many unnecessary problems that i was like i'm not gonna run that's literally i don't know if i'm doing this right should i use this brush guys i don't know how to do eyeshadow i knew that if i ran for president of my school there would just be so much there would be so many problems like i already knew that th those people would just always question me all the time and i knew that i didn't want to be in a space like that because i like being in spaces that are kind and nice and there's certain people who are not kind and nice and i knew that if i ran and I actually won that my year, my senior year, even though it's already trash, would be even worse because now I'd have to be dealing with people who hated me since the 10th grade. And personally, I did not want to be involved in that because 10th grade Alexis and grade 12 Alexis are not the same person. Like I will regulate you in Google Meet meetings. Like I don't care if there's an administrator there. I don't care if there's a teacher there. If I feel like you're disrespecting me, I will regulate you. And I already knew that that would happen constantly. So I said for pay personally my mental health and my sanity i'm not going to run and yeah that that's all i have to say about it so because i didn't run 
and I was kind of disappointed that I didn't run. I was like, I feel like I should run for valedictorian just to make it up to myself, not to anyone else, but just to be like, yo, like, even though these people are constantly talking bad about you, talking ish about you and the things you do in the for the school, like, don't let this put you down. Like, still run for something that you, you want to do, you know? So that's why I was running for valedictorian. And also because I feel like I could really talk about the experiences of all students um, at our school because I've just been able to float between so many groups during my time in high school. So yeah. That's how my eyeshadow is looking so far. I don't know what I did. I don't know how I feel, but I don't know if it's a look. Is it a look? I don't know. I'm confused. I don't know if I should add a few shimmer, a little sparkle. I don't know how people do it. Does the dark go here? I'm gonna put some little darkness over there. So I don't know if you guys watched my um, first day of senior year. I talked about goals that I set for myself this year. So one of the goals was actually getting this thing called Ontario Scholars, which I actually qualified for. Um, so I'm excited for that. I already knew that I, I would get Ontario Scholars just because like, come on guys, I knew I was gonna get Ontario Scholars. Like, it's just getting an 80 or above in all subjects in your senior year which i have done so i already knew i was gonna get that i don't know if it's a look but i'm feeling it okay like not even focused right now let me say that again so Ontario scholars I achieved that I got above all 80s in like my um, courses the second thing I wanted to do was get a lot of service hours so right now my service hour number is 420 hours and 30 minutes and I'm actually have more service hours that I need to submit so I need to submit um, hours from grade 11 and grade 12 concerning my club and then I also need to submit some hours I got from um, volunteering at this sports organization and then other than that I probably should end off with maybe like 500 600 hours so that's pretty exciting pretty cool <laughs> Another goal that I had, another goal that I had was to um, get a prom date. Last but not least, is to get a prom date. So you people, you think I'm joking? Fred, get your money, man. Like those. So I'm hopeful. Yes, I am hopeful for today. Take this music and use it. I will mention it every single video until one day somebody says, "Do you want to be my prom date?" And I say yes. For a one-time payment of $18, you can help Alexis find a date during this lonely and sad prom season. Thank you in advance. Um, so as you guys know, there's still a panoramic outside and like prom is like not happening. Like for schools, I may or may not have heard through the grapevine or not through the grapevine that people are throwing like mini proms or whatever i don't know i'm not involved in that but i still wanted to take some type of prom photos and like people have told me that they're still getting prom dates and stuff like that just for like the fun of it you know what i mean and like still doing like little things when we're off this lockdown like if you live in ontario you know what i'm talking about like big man ford i don't know what he's doing because bro I don't know what he's doing so like i said before yeah people are doing like having little prom dates and stuff like that so i still wanted like is that a track i still wanted like a prom date just for the aesthetic of it and also bro none of my sisters have had prom dates our age differences are significant all of us right so the fact that each generation has not had a prom date is kind of scary so yeah that's just how i feel it's kind of it's kind of scary so then i was like yes i want a prom date or whatever so let me tell you what happened to me recently so i posted on my story because i was trying to get two of my friends prom dates because them two 
them too old. Nobody likes them. Okay? Okay? I was doing this thing where I wanted to do this series on my YouTube channel on getting my friends um, prom dates. And so I posted on my story, my Instagram story. I was like, if you are interested, if you're a boy and you're interested in like um, going to prom or like taking prom photos or like helping someone get a prom date, um, let me know. Like I did a poll, right? So then a few people actually responded. Like people really responded and saying like, yeah, they would be down. So I was minding my business and someone decides to DM me you know whatever doing conversation and i thought i was so confused about what was going on in the conversation because i subconsciously thought i was like wait am, do, I, do i have a prom date but then no it no it just no did i ask him oh are you serious of course not i'm not stupid come on ain't gonna lie bro come sometimes on, like so late fun. nights i just cry like, 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 i didn't explain that story well but basically i thought someone said they wanted a prom date and they lied story of my life so if you're watching it i'm talking about you you're trash i don't care don't dm me either you're trash <laughs> anyways so i'm today on the prom date i don't have one so that goal is still not achieved but hopefully hopefully i get one just to like take pictures and stuff like that also concerning prom i got my prom dress i'm actually just recycling um one of my other sister's dresses they didn't wear that not their old prom dresses but just a dress they had in their closet and i'm making it into my prom dress like doing different alterations to it and stuff just because i thought it was a really nice dress and since like i think braid eight i've been wanting to wear that dress to prom like that has been my prom dress i, I was still gonna do going to look at different prom dresses and stuff like that but i always knew that i wanted to wear that dress to prom so <laughs> coming up but let me tell you i already mentioned him but big man ford i don't know what his plan is in life i don't know if he his plan is to just make sure that all of us are miserable but bro this coronavirus thing is just not it's not it's not it's not it okay coronavirus is really not it as we all know it's like Ruining people's lives for real, taking away people's families. It's terrible. Coronavirus is literally terrible. And I don't know if Doug Ford could have handled it in a better way. I personally don't know. I feel like it's just hard in general to be a leader at this time. But all I have to say to my friend Ford, okay, my big man, if summer doesn't happen for Ontario, all I have to say is the people won't be happy with you, okay? The people will not be happy with you. You're going to have people's moms, people's dads, people's aunties, grandparents even yelling at you. On Facebook, on WhatsApp even. Me, I'm not involved, but I'm letting you know that if summer doesn't happen for Ontarians, it's over for you, buddy. <clears throat> it's actually over for you because he doesn't know, please, these people... These Ontario people, they're crazy even. I just need him to figure out what he wants to do. Right now, Ontario's in lockdown. Um, and yeah, basically you're not allowed to like go out. I'm confused about, I've been confused about the way lockdown's moving, but you're not supposed to be out past a certain time. Like subconsciously, they're not trying to do a curfew like Quebec in that because they want to be progressive but like yeah you're basically not supposed to be out past a certain time and if you are police will stop you or something like that the last summer before like becoming a real adult you know what i mean like this is the summer of the in-between right from being a high school student to being a university slash college student entering a different phase in our lives and it's just important that i have this summer because i have to be honest with you guys i've been a loser for a long time and this is the summer to show out okay it's a hot girl summer it's a city girl summer it's a summer and that's on per and that's on period i need to go outside okay we outside every single day okay no sleep drive party No sleep, bus, club, another club, another club, another club, plane, next place. Be outside, bro, every day. You're not, I already told my parents, you're not gonna catch me in the crib bus. No, I'm outside, bro. I'm outside every day. You're not gonna see me. 
or you're not gonna see me. I'm outside every day. I've let you people know, okay? I've let the world know I'm outside every day. You're not going to see me anywhere. I don't care. My friends, we call ourselves the single shorties. That's not our real friend group name, but there's a section of us in which we're called the single shorties because we are the shorties of the group who are single. We're funny, I don't care. Like that's such a good name, I know. It's amazing, right? Single shorties have made a points list and that's basically where um, there's a bunch of things on the list and there's points attached to them and whoever has the most points win. What do they win? We don't know yet. Probably like a pizza party or a dinner. We don't know. But whoever has the most points wins, right? So basically, we made this whole list. We are committed, okay? There's a few of us who are in this and we're excited, bro. I'm so excited for this whole thing because I want to see what, what these girls will really do, okay? But all I'm saying is that we made this bucket list or this points list, my bad. And like, we're serious about having this turn up summer before university. So all I have to say is big man forward, please figure it out. Don't ruin my summer. Yeah, I want this summer to be the summer of like actual memories. I want this summer to be the summer I look back and like, tell my kids about you know what i mean like like we even planned to go to montreal in um june but because like corona is actually getting worse and like you just can't travel like we thought it was going to be better by yeah like by june we thought corona was going to just be better and it's just not working out coronavirus is still very very bad so we're just gonna have to find try to find different local things also like i said before montreal quebec all of those places are really in lockdown like every single day they're they're like in lockdown they're not allowed to go outside past a certain time i think it's like 8 p.m so yeah that trip's not happening which is kind of sad like we really wanted to go to montreal it was also for our friend's birthday their 18th birthday that we were like okay yeah that makes sense like montreal you know like almost everybody in the group knows how to drive so it works like we could do this coronavirus is like no you guys are not allowed to have fun you guys are not allowed to do anything i want you guys to be miserable that's basically what they're telling us okay that's what they're that's what coronavirus is telling us openly that they don't care or See, I don't know what it identifies as, so I'm gonna say they. They don't care. Coronavirus doesn't care about you. As you can tell, like, mm, it hates us. It really hates us. Like, guys, I don't even know what I'm talking about. I don't know how to do a sit down video, as you can tell. Like, I'm really, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I'm actually liking this makeup look. What do you guys think? Looks nice. She's a runner, she's a track star. She don't wanna look way when it gets hard. Do you guys want me to sing to you guys? I can sing. I feel like this summer, I need those banging artists to drop hella music. Um, I don't know if you guys listened to the Rod Wave album, but that was such a good album. It was so good, but like, I want lit music though. Like, it was good if you're having a heartbreak summer, but I'm not. I'm, I need to have that lit bit summer. I need JT and Carisha to pop out. Now I know Carisha said she don't like me called Carisha, but Carisha. I need Carisha, JT, Megan. I need all of them. Even Nicki Minaj, come on, retirement, baby. I need you guys to drop bangers this summer. Like, how am I gonna say we outside, but we don't have any outside music? You know what I'm saying? You know what? Even Drake, fam. Drake, you always drop some good bangers. Drop some this summer, okay? I'm ready to dance, okay? Like, I can't have a lit summer if everyone else is, like, not having a lit summer. Because who am I going to be lit with? Like, let's be honest. If you want to have a lit summer, but the, those around you are not being lit, like, how are you going to have a lit summer? Okay, that's what I got. So, this is what the makeup looks like so far. I don't really have anything else to talk about. But what I'm going to do, I don't think I'm going to post this, guys. I think I was so boring. I don't even know what I was saying. I'm sorry. So what I'm going to do now is just like do put on my eyelashes and do the rest of my makeup. And then I'm going to come back to you guys. So. Anyways, guys, this is the final makeup look. You know, I was going to do it like sitting down. I was going to do the ending sitting down. But listen, I wasn't giving what I was supposed to give. Like, I really wanted you guys to see like how it looks. I like it personally. 
I think the dewy looks very cute. Anyways, guys, this is the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you wherever I see you. Peace, love, and the Holy Ghost. I'm out.